Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, um, those who are here in our shrine and also our uh, viewers of uh, our live streaming. I remember uh, the uh, story about um, <clears throat> a class in uh, theology and uh, the professor asked the students uh, to write what they think about uh, Jesus Christ and so they uh, wrote on their uh, sheets of paper and when the uh, professor uh, got the uh, answers, well, somebody uh, wrote Jesus, Jesus Christ was a healer, and Jesus Christ was the Son of God. And then another said, Jesus was a prophet. No. Hey, um, tinignan niya kung anong course ang kinukuha. Ay, uh, kumukuha pa sila ng finance uh, subject. Kaya, Jesus was a prophet, you know, instead of a prophet. So, um, um, well, of course, uh, that is the way he saw Christ because he was a finance uh, uh, student. Now, dear brothers and sisters, it is the same in the Gospel with regard to Herod because uh, Herod was thinking about our Lord Jesus Christ and Herod said, I'm curious to see Jesus Christ. Is he a new prophet? Is he the uh, prophet Elijah? Well, uh, John the Baptist I have uh, uh, beheaded. Now, who is this Christ? So he was curious about our Lord. Well, he was curious because he was making uh, miracles. And that's why he wanted to, to see him and uh, talk to him. Unfortunately, well, uh, the chance to meet our Lord did not happen. Well, maybe because for Jesus, it was unnecessary because he was thinking of him only as a one who is a, a healer, a miracle worker. But uh, beyond that, uh, he, uh, he didn't want to follow in the teachings of our Lord. Sayang po mga kapatid dahil pagkakataon na sana ni Herodes na magbago at uh, uh, maging uh, malapit siya sa ating Panginoon. Now, the question that maybe we should ask ourselves is, how about us? What do you think about our Lord? Who is our Lord personally to us? Well, we know that uh, uh, many think of our Lord as a miracle worker. We know that he was a healer. And uh, there are some people, whether you like it or not, we consider our Lord as a big father, that we go to him when we ask to favor Katulad ng, alimbawa, mayroon kang problema uh, sa pera. So, lumapit sa ating Panginoon. O kung may mga problema sa uh, sakit, then we go to our Lord and ask a favor of healing. Or maybe uh, we have uh, some uh, sins to... Uh, uh, confess then it is our Lord uh, we go especially 
those who have very serious sins. But there is one thing, my dear brothers and sisters, we should not forget. And that is that our Lord is the way, the truth, and the life. It was mentioned here in our readings. And what does it mean for us? That we should not be only going to God for a favor. We should not be going to Christ, our Lord, uh, in order to, uh, to be healed or to be a big father, but rather that we go to our Lord in order to follow his will and his command for us. I am the way, the truth, and the life. So what does it mean? That means that we should try to follow as far as possible the commands of our Lord and His will in our day-to-day -day life. So we have the Ten Commandments. This is a summary of the moral principles and the teachings of our Lord. Well, of course, there are those who uh, uh, not uh, take seriously Ten Commandments. Maybe they do, pero anong nangyayari? Yung gusto nilang sundin, gusto nilang uh, i-practice, yun ang ginagawa nila. There is a story about the priests who was uh, giving a uh, homily about the Ten Commandments. And then, you know, this priest was very bombastic uh, speaker or uh, preacher. And he said, uh, honor your father and your mother. And, you know, there was um, a politician here in front. And uh, he said uh, very loud because he was a member of a charismatic community. And he said, amen, father. That's right. Many people don't honor their parents anymore. And then sabi niya, thou shalt not kill. Then again, this man said, Amen, Father. There's so much violence and killing nowadays. And then said, thou shalt not uh, uh, commit adultery. Amen, Father. Amen. And then said, thou shalt not steal. No? E sabi po nitong uh, politiko, Ops, ops, Father. Hindi ka na nangangaral. Nakikialam ka na sa buhay ko. So, in other words, in other words, you could not accept that commandment of our Lord, of our Lord, because, well, personally, he's not uh, following that uh, seventh commandment. Guru, maraming mga uh, mga kurakot na ginagawa, uh, although he followed the other commandments or yung mga pork barrels, and so on. So, dear brothers and sisters, this is what our Lord wants us to do, to be guided by His, follow, uh, by His commandments and by His will and His life. Yes, we go to our Lord to ask for favors. Yes, we go to Him when we have problems. We go to Him when uh, we need uh, when we need uh, money and we are this desperate. But let us not forget that our Lord is the way, the truth, and life in our personal lives. So uh, let us pray uh, now and bow our heads and pray the following. In our daily life, Lord, may we follow your will in your command, you said, not those who say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do your will and your commands. Amen.